Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a multiple choice quiz in Python. So basically, we're gonna set up a little multiple choice quiz and we'll have the user take the quiz and as they take the quiz, we'll keep track of their score and then at the end, we'll tell them how they did. So this is gonna be a pretty cool video. I'm excited to show you guys how to do this and we'll get to use things like classes and if statements and loops in order to build this program. So we're gonna use a lot of cool stuff in Python. The first thing I wanna show you guys, uh, I actually did this before I started the video, it's this little array, it's called question prompts. And I basically just wrote out all the questions that are gonna be, or I shouldn't say the questions, I wrote out all the question prompts that are gonna be inside of my multiple choice quiz. So the first one just says, what color are apples? And the answers are red, purple, or orange. Um, the next one is what color are bananas? The options are teal, magenta, and yellow. And the third question is what color are strawberries? And the options are yellow, red, and blue. So this is obviously a very, very easy multiple choice quiz, but I just kind of wrote out the questions beforehand so I didn't have to spend time doing that. So let's talk about how we can build a multiple choice test. Well, the first thing I wanna think about is how can I represent the questions in the test? Right, over here we have the question prompts, but there's actually two parts to a question when you think about it. There's the prompt, in other words, like the actual question itself, and then there's the answer to the question, and both of those attributes need to be kept track of, right? I need to keep track of what we wanna ask, and I need to keep track of what the answer is. So what I'm actually gonna do is create a question class. So I'm gonna create a little data type for questions, and inside of that question class, we'll be able to store the question prompt and we'll also be able to store the question's answer. So I'm just gonna come over here to my folder and I'm gonna make a new Python file and we're just gonna call this question.py. So we'll call it question.py. And inside of this question.py file, I'm gonna make a class. So I'm just gonna say class question and I'm gonna put a colon here. So inside of this question class, we wanna define it in initialize function. So I'm gonna say def two underscores in it, two underscores, and then we're gonna type out an open and close parentheses self and then a colon. So after this self, we wanna define the different attributes that will describe or that will be included in a question. So we're gonna include a prompt and we're gonna include an answer. So every question will have a question prompt and a question answer. And now down here, I wanna take those values and assign them to the actual class object. So I'm gonna say self.prompt is equal to prompt, and I'm gonna say self.answer is equal to answer. So now we have a question class set up and we can store all the information we need uh, about a question. So what I wanna do now is go back over to my app.python file and we're actually gonna create an array of questions. So I have over here these three prompts and I'm actually just gonna create another array. So we'll just call it questions and I'm just gonna set it equal to two open and close square brackets and we're gonna start creating question objects. So I can just say the first element in this questions array will be a question and we wanna pass question prompts zero and the answer to the first question was A, red, green. That's the color of apple. So I'm gonna pass that first question and I'm also going to pass the answer, which is A. And you'll see down here, I'm getting an error. So saying unresolved reference question. So actually what we need to do before we can create these questions is we need to import this question class. So I'm gonna come up in here, come up here and say, from question import question. So now down here in this questions array, we're not getting that error anymore. So we created one question object and I'm just gonna create a couple more for these other ones. So I'm just gonna copy this one and we will paste this down here. All right, so now we're creating two other questions and these ones are gonna be one and two. And the answer to the second question is C. And the answer to the third question, I think it's B. Let me look. Yeah, so it's C and B. All right, so essentially what we're doing is we're creating three questions. Each one is getting a different question prompt. 
and they're each getting different answers. So now we have an array of questions that we want to ask on our test. So the next step is to actually write a function that will run the test, right? It has to ask the user the questions and it has to check to see if they got the answer right. So down here, lower in the file, let's create a function. So I'm just gonna say def and we'll call this run test. And inside of this parentheses, we're gonna take one parameter into this function. We're gonna take a list of questions. So I'm just gonna say questions so this is basically gonna be a list of question objects that we wanna ask the user. So once I'm in here, all I wanna do is loop through all the questions. So I wanna loop through each question, I wanna ask it to the user, I wanna get the user's answer, and I wanna to check to see if it's right. And we need to be able to keep track of how the user does through the test, so I wanna create a variable called score. And I'm just gonna set it equal to zero. So every time the user answers a question right, we'll increment this score variable. All right, so what I wanna do is, like I said, loop through all the questions in that questions array. So I'm gonna create a for loop. I'm gonna say for question in questions. So in other words, for each question object inside of this questions array, I wanna do something. And basically, the first thing I wanna do is ask the user the question and I wanna store their response inside of a variable. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a variable down here called answer, and this is gonna represent the user's answer to the question. And I'm gonna set it equal to input, and I need to give this a prompt. So I'm actually gonna give this the prompt for the question. So I can just say question.prompt. So now I have the answer that the user entered in, which is stored inside this variable, so we wanna to check to see if they got the question right. And I can do that using an if statement. So I can say if answer, and this refers to the student's answer, is equal to question.answer. So I'm checking to see if the answer that the student gave is equal to the answer of the current question that we're asking. And if this is true, then I just want to increment score. So I'm gonna say score plus equals one. And this basically just means we're adding one to the score. So the last thing I want to do inside of this function is just print out the result. So I wanna print out how the user did. So down here, I'm just gonna say print, and I'm basically just gonna print out like, hey, you got like two out of three questions, or you got five out of six questions right, or you got zero out of 10 questions right. We'll just print out how they did. So I'll just say you got and now I wanna print out how many questions they got right. So this is just gonna be the score. And in order to print a number alongside of a string like this, I'm gonna to have to say str and then type in the number. So we'll say str score. So we'll basically say you got however many they got right out of, so we'll use this little forward slash. And now we'll just say how many questions there were. So we can say, and again, we're gonna to have to convert this to a string because it's gonna be a number. So we can say string and then we wanna figure out how many questions were in that questions array. So I can say len, and inside of here we can just say questions. So this is kind of like this long statement just to print out how many questions there were. So then over here I'll just say correct. All right, so now we have this print statement and it's just gonna be printing out how many questions they got right. So let's see if this works. The last thing I need to do is just call this run test function, so I'll say run test and I'm just gonna pass it that questions array that we created before. So we created this questions array with all of these question objects inside of it. I'm basically just gonna pass that into this run test function. So now let's run our program and see how we did. Hopefully we don't get any errors. Um, there's a lot of code there, so it's possible that we might. Okay, so it says what color are apples? Huh, this is a tough one. All right, let's put A, so we'll get the first question right. What color are bananas? Let's get the second question wrong. So I'm gonna say B, bananas are magenta. And we'll get the third question right. So it says, what color are strawberries? I'll just put B, because that's the right answer. So now you'll see that our program prints out, you got two out of three correct. So not only did it ask us all the questions and get our input for each question, but it also kept track of our score and it printed it out. So why don't we run through the test one more time and we'll just like, get two wrong this time. So I'll get this one wrong, I'll get this one wrong, and I'll get this one right. So now it says you got one out of three correct. So it's able to actually grade our test. And what's cool about the program we just wrote is 
If I wanted, I could add another question into here and it would automatically be able to ask it. So it doesn't matter how many questions we put in here. Um, it's just able to ask it. And so really the point I was trying to make with this whole video was just how we can use something like a class in order to model a real world entity. So for example, we created this question class and we were able to store all the information about a question that we could ever need. So we were able to sort of like the prompt and the answer. So we created our own question data type and then we were able to create a bunch of different questions, pass it into this run test method and it was able to grade the test and just run the test really easily. So that's kind of the point. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. You know, this was a lot of code. So if you don't fully understand what, what I did, go back, watch the video, you know, try it a couple times on your own and see if you can create your own multiple choice test. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.